how messy could Brexit be for the European Union? Well, I think that uh, it would be messy, of course, for the UK and messy for the European Union, but with the proportion of the size of the GDP. So much more messy, of course, for the UK, not surprisingly. But it, it's, uh, it's uh, very bad for all, for all of us, without any exception. And you know that we are in a situation where the 27 are asking the UK to stay. I mean, the UK has decided to leave, but it's alone. All the others wanted the UK to stay for many reasons, and it's a totally different situation in comparison with the time of General de Gaulle, when General de Gaulle was saying to the UK, no, we don't want you to join <coughs> us. So uh, it's a pity, and I could read, of course, the analysis which were made by Bank of England, I, I'm not surprised. I mean, a no deal would be a total catastrophe. That goes without saying. Uh, a deal, as it is, is also costly for the UK, uh, much less, but it's uh, around 2.5, 3% of the GDP in comparison with 10% of the GDP, or 9 or 10. And uh, as regards the uh, uh, stay, remain, then there is no cost. I mentioned that en passant. I'm not too optimistic on the capacity of the UK to stay, but it's a possibility. I will not probabilize, but it's a possibility. Yeah. And even Theresa May mentioned that. She said, no deal, the deal I negotiated, or remain. She mentioned that but in her speech. Monsieur, Monsieur Trichet, if there is no deal, how far and wide would the repercussions be? A lot of people think it would actually, of course, hurt the UK and hurt the European Union. Could it be felt further afield? Uh, I, I think that uh, everything that happens in, in any part of the world, and certainly at the level of uh, the uh, very large uh, integrated economy, which is Europe, will have repercussion everywhere. So the no deal is certainly something which is very, very bad for all, including for the global economy as a whole, for the US, for everybody. That's absolutely clear. Uh, that being said, again, even the deal is not good. Uh, for Europe, uh, certainly uh, very, very bad for the UK, and uh, by way of uh, interaction, interconnectedness, no. which is the rule of the game, also for the rest of the world.